Hello and welcome to another edition of Ultimate Arc, the free DLC version where we are working our way through the free DLC maps. This is the only place you're going to find that, folks. Alright, and today we are going back to the cave here. We need some more chitin. And just like my Bacillo and Baryonyx team, I am doing a new team up. I don't know if you remember my frog, Heartless Hero. Heartless Hero was one of my earliest subscribers, so got a frog named after him. And Fonzie, of course, another subscriber. He had a dino named after him. And today we are going into this cave. We're going to get some... Chitin, cementing paste, and uh, just some other stuff. Uh, and I'm trying out this little team up here between Heartless Hero and the Fonz. Now, I know Fonzie can handle anything in this cave. We've done it before. But I just wanted to try a little, you know, a little buddy system here. Uh, the frog gets around a little quicker I think now remember I had just pumped some levels in right before the cave it's so it's not like he's taking damage it's just he he's getting a whole lot of levels this cave is great for leveling up in addition to the chitin and cementing paste that we're getting so I just force feed him a little bit and yeah, you see in the inventory we got a little bit of chitin, a little bit of cementing base. We're going to get a lot more. I'm just saying. Now, this is uh, referred to sometimes as the bear cave. And you see the bears. The bears don't really bother us. And we don't bo want to bother them either because they're like level 600 or some crazy thing like that. So we're leaving the bears. We're also not messing with the snails very much. I'd kind of like to tame one of those. I really need to. That would pretty much take care of the cementing paste needs forever. Look at all these bugs. <laughs> Crazy. But you see that this team really knows how to take care of business. Uh, Fonzie gets the bug buff, of course. Uh, the frog also takes a bonus against insects. And then we get these snakes that kind of bother us. But that's a source of prime meat. And we want some prime meat because we want to make prime meat jerky. It is the summer bash event. And everything, if you want to make anything from that, you need mostly prime, prime jerky. Alright, and I'm trying to heal up and things keep coming up wanting to kill us. And Fonzie takes care of them, though. Now, there's a couple of spiders up in those trees and that really bugs me. Kind of gets my uh, OCD kicking in, wanting to get rid of those spiders so they don't sneak up on us later. All right, I think we're going the wrong way, yeah. So I can, I can hear him up there, so I, and I can even see him. I, you know, and I'm doing like 23 damage on my shotgun. I'm really not, I'm just wasting shotgun shells at this point. Uh, yeah, we're going to spend pretty much the entire episode in this cave. Uh, there's some things that I discover here that I didn't know. I I think the last time I was in here I referred to it, wondered if it was Bela's Cave. It is not Bela's Cave. I can tell you that right now. Like I say, it's sometimes called the Bear Cave because of the bears are in here. It could also be called a Chitin Cave because look how much Chitin we're getting. And you see, Fonzie is actually doing big damage. I think he killed those spiders. He's still going after another one. Alright, come on, come on. Yeah, 
let's let's go. That's enough of that. And uh, right away, well, those guys came from somewhere. You also got these uh, termite mounds. We have these on Crystal Isles as well, just like Crystal Isles. You can get chitin clay and sand from them. Um, I think if you use a doa dick, you can get more of that stuff faster. But don't quote me. It's either a doa dick or an anki. You can get more chitin faster from them. But I don't really need the sand or the clay, so it's not really worth it for me. I don't know why I'm keeping that stuff, but I'm going to dump it later. So we are going to... I'm trying to kill an Arthur Plur. I see it there, but he got me anyway. Hit me. Destroyed my desert armor. Now, fortunately, uh, the vest and the shirt and the pants I made fur earlier took 50% damage on that. I'm going to have to fix that when I get back. But here we go. Look at all those bugs. Look at them all. We are big time into it now. See, they didn't bother me until the spiders got on me. There we go. Yep. And you see those white crosses. That's because the Fjord Hawk locates all the dead bodies. And, yep. And this looks a lot like the beehive cave on Crystal Isle and alright you see there's a crack there I want to go in there but I want to make sure these bugs don't kill me when I dismount so I'll go ahead we'll go ahead and take better care of more of them so, uh, of course my creatures won't fit in there I gotta crawl on my belly to get up in here curious and I discover there's a whole new system right there there's a big sarco oh my goodness but something's fighting back here so we're pretty much got what we wanted we wanted mainly chitin and cementing paste uh, I'm kind of I, I need to make my owl saddles from a couple episodes ago and just to verify that this cave is indeed like the honey cave take out my pickaxe and you see I get giant bee honey and organic polymer uh, I'm, if I want that stuff I'm gonna come back in here with my chainsaw and get it because that's the best way to harvest that stuff the honey and the organic polymer is with a chainsaw. So now we're pretty much uh, coming out of the cave. Now one of the things that I did want to do that that other cave system beyond that crack that I just saw, I wouldn't mind finding the alternative way of getting in there. But I'm really happy with the with a haul that we got so far between uh, Fonzie and my frog my heartless heartless hero that's his name I keep forgetting hadn't, hadn't been using the frog very much so I'm glad I kinda wanted to take it out and we get a lot of cementing paste from our frog as we will see momentarily when I open up that inventory in order to transfer yeah you see we got thousands uh, we're gonna put all that into teach just take it all we'll bring back the soul balls and the shotgun shells and the rest can stay in teach and now we got 
Fonzie's stuff. Kind of hard to see with all the Russian bushes here. And as well as the uh, prime meat. And there's berries and all kinds of other stuff. There's a lot of titan, titan, titan boa venom in there as well. I right, always want to keep the shotgun shells and the soul balls with us. Because you never know what you're going to run into. Alright, Teach is a little bit heavy, but you're going to do alright. We're going to make it back. And then, uh, here we are back. I want to get a photo of my cave buddy team. Heartless Hero and Fonzie. Two very early tames. Uh, Fonzie's been getting a lot of use, but not so much for the Heartless Hero. But we see Heartless Hero is doing a great job getting that cementing base for us. So, as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are enjoying the series, go ahead and subscribe. And we will catch you on the next one. See you later, everybody.